uh, karibu kwenye channel yetu ya Elimika Mtandaoni. Uh, leo nakwenda kuonyesha au kuwaeleza eh, professional courses ambazo eh, mtu amesoma course za ICT au oh, za IT anapaswa kuchagua moja au mbili au tatu aweze um, kuzi eh, kuongeza ufanisi katika kile ambacho amekisoma. Um, Sasa kuna wengi ambao tunaamini what we believe is uh, tuki, tukimaliza kwamba ukishasoma IT basi we tayari e, una qualify. Mm-hmm. Unafaa kufanya kazi. E, let me tell you the truth. E, if you just go out there just with your uh, IT uh, degree uh, it won't sound good. Eh? It won't sound good. So what you have to do is please equip yourself with one or two a uh, professional courses that i'm going to tell you uh, these uh, courses will help you uh, to be acceptable internationally mm kwamba dunia ya leo tulipofika they want people who are exp- uh, who have experience uh, people who can practice uh, it in a real sense sasa uh, for them uh, to to be uh, believed kwamba they know a lot of uh, things regarding it sasa you have to pass several tests you have to pass a, a several examinations so that in the end you are certified to be a competent uh, person in the field of uh, IT so there is where IT professional courses uh, come kama vile ambavyo tunaona eh, watu wa uasibu eh, kuwa muasibu tu haitoshi lakini inabidi uwe certified ndio maana watu wa uasibu wana kitu kinaitwa eh, certified public accountant wanapata kitu kinachoitwa CPA sasa the same thing pia ipo kwa watu wa IT sema watu wa IT wao wana certification nyingi zaidi sasa kuwa na zile certification certifications ndio ambayo inakufanya eh, wewe uitwe uh, expert wa IT sasa let's have an introduction as we know that this is a competitive world it's a world that we need to compete so that we can uh, we can win uh, the employment <coughs> chances is equipped out there so as an IT expert uh, for you to win to the um, to the comp- this competition to you to win to this competition what you need to have uh, you have to improve uh, your area of expertise you have to improve your area of expertise sasa how do you improve your area of expertise is through taking what we call uh, professional courses what professional courses do they put much emphasis on the development of your profession so uh, as an it then you need to to improve whatever you have so that you can be acceptable uh, in your in your area so uh, it has a lot of benefits uh, professional courses offer a lot of benefits that's why i recommend you uh, to enroll in uh, professional courses that are found out there uh, with it so as we are talking about professional courses when i say it i mean all the related courses that uh, include it for example uh, business information system information system health information system computer engineering computer science computer security all those they belong to a larger umbrella that we call information technology so for you to acquire what you call advanced and better skills and then you have to take these we call professional courses so there is a difference between a professional course and academic course the three years that you or the four years or the five years that you have taken um, you, you have studied those are called the academic courses years whatever courses that you you studied during all those three years are called the academic courses and in fact those academic courses they do not give you enough skills that can be useful to a certain work environment so you are given a general knowledge that is not so specific so in order for you to go or to have a specific knowledge or to enhance your skills so that you can serve a specific 
kuhakiki a work environment then you have to take what we call professional uh, professional courses so taking up a professional course is very important and it helps you to improve uh, your career and in fact you have if you have taken a professional course it improves uh, your confidence it improves your confidence you become more confident and uh, you improve the performance of whatever career so uh, this program here or this um, this lecture that I'm, i'm presenting to you i'm going to present some professional courses in it that you guy that guys that have taken uh, it then you need to take three or four among these causes or if you are capable you can take all of them but i don't think if you can take all of them because they cost a lot for you uh, to have so in it these professional courses are categorized or they are grouped into three uh, main aspects into three main aspects as we know that it aligns the business and technology uh, it aligns the, the courses that we take in it is an alignment of business and uh, and technology so uh, in order for you to uh, to perform well in order for you uh, to have enough skills for such environments then you need to have professional courses in all these uh, three aspects so we will start uh, by looking at each and every aspect and what professional courses belong to that particular uh, aspect let us start with the uh, professional courses uh, from the managerial perspective or managerial uh, aspect the first one is project management you can get certification in project management um so if you are an IT guy and you will uh, you will lead a lot of uh, projects then you have to certify yourself you have to give yourself skills and experience uh, in project management so uh, if you find a course out there um, about project management and it's a certification course please go and take that course it is very important for you and this is very important for those people who are the project managers they are the ones that uh, take lead in several uh, management for example here i'm talking about those people who have taking information system as a course a business information system as a course and the health information system as a course so uh, you need to take uh, one course which is called project management uh, a professional course we call it pmp there is another course that is called certified information system auditor a uh, certified information system editor uh, this is is It's a course that is issued by uh, an international professional association that focuses on IT governance. Uh, that 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 the association is called the ISAC. ISAC stands for Information System Audit and Control Association. So this association issues a certification uh, that is called the Certified Information System Auditor. We call it a uh, CISA. Uh, so certification information system auditor what it does uh, it certifies uh, it certifies uh, people that are in charge in ensuring that an organization's IT and business systems are monitored they are managed and they are protected so this is certification is is presented to the person who has taken this course after completion of a comprehensive uh, testing and application uh, process so um, if you take this uh, this course certified information system auditor then uh, we expect you to to be competent in monitoring systems uh, managing systems and uh, protecting uh, systems so uh, this course is an international course and if you are certified with this course uh, you will be a uh, known a uh, universally the whole world will know you that as a system uh, information uh, information system uh, auditor there is another course that we call certified information uh, security manager sim or a uh, cism so this is an advanced certification uh, it indicates that an individual possesses the knowledge and experience required to develop and manage enterprise information security uh, programs so uh, it is for management 
of uh, information security. Uh, it is it is, is involved with, in the management of information security. It is also um, issued. It is also issued by uh, this association that we call ISAC. And we have another one that is called Information Technology Infrastructure Library, ITIL. It is also an international uh, international program. And what it does is a set of detailed practices for IT services management. We call it the ITSM. Eh? And the main focus of this course is to align IT services with the, uh, the needs of the business. So uh, there are business needs and there are IT. So if you are satisfied with this course, that we call it ITIL, if you are satisfied with this course, what uh, you, you can be uh, skilled or you can have uh, experience in, in aligning IT services with the, the business needs. We have COBIT, COBIT or C-O-B-I-T. Uh, this stands for Control Objectives for Information uh, Technologies. So they have a certification in governance of uh, enterprise IT, uh, CGE IT. That's uh, what COBIT does. It allows practitioners to govern and manage IT holistically and it includes all end-to-end -end business and IT functional areas. So it's a framework. COBIT is, is a framework and these frameworks uh, help to provide the best practices in understanding, implementing and managing effective enterprise IT governance. So if you are satisfied with uh, this kind of certification, then be sure that uh, you will be um, competent in controlling uh, information technologies. We have some other uh, certification or uh, professional courses su such as certified business pro process professionals. These are the ones that uh, they start the business processes and they come up with the uh, workflows in different uh, organizations. We have certified enterprise architecture practitioners. It's another course that you can take. And proceeding, um, Proceeding now, uh, we can go to um, uh, technical courses. We have also uh, what we call uh, technical courses. These technical courses, uh, as we have said, that we have professional courses in three aspects. The, the, the aspect of management, the as aspect of technology, and the aspect of office uh, automation. The aspect of uh, office automation. So, so when we come to uh, technical courses, we have these courses like Red Hat Certified Engineers for those people are uh, taking Linux. So the engineers specialized in Red Hat. Uh, we have Microsoft Certified Systems Engineers. We have Microsoft Certified Professional. We have Oracle Database Administration. For those people who like to uh, to have, uh, to, they are good in databases. Uh, so you can be good in databases specifically for Oracle Database. We have MySQL Database Administration. We have Microsoft SQL Server Database Administration. And we have Cisco Network Associate. Uh, we call it a CCNA. And this Cisco is very important for the telecommunications guys and the computer engineering guys. We, if we have the Oracle, MySQL, and the SQL Server, uh, these are very important for people taking information system and business information system and healthy information uh, system. Also, we have uh, we have people from uh, software engineering. They also fall in these database courses. Uh, and it, still in technical courses, we have Cisco Certified Network Professionals. We have CCNP. We have Cisco Certified Internetwork a Professional. These are for the people that are specialized in net, computer networks. Uh, the telecommunications guys, the information system uh, guys, they also take this. We have mobile uh, mobility. Uh, we have uh, mobile development like Android and the iOS. Uh, you get certification for that. We have Java certified programmer. If you like Java programming, then go and certify yourself. Get certification for Java so that you can be known internationally. You can be known internationally. If uh, you like to develop 
uh, Windows applications, Windows applications and Windows mobile applications, then you get what we call Microsoft Certified Solutions Developer, MCSD. Then that is a professional course that we have we have seen for um, technical, uh, for technicalities and for management. We also have office automation courses. These are very important. For example, there is a, a license, a professional course that we call uh, International Computer Driving License. If you go for this course, you will be uh, you you will be certified in the following uh, programs: Enterprise Accounting Systems. Uh, you will study. Um, you will study applications such as Tally, QuickBooks, and you get certification for them. Then you will study data management and data analysis software such as SPSS, Stata, and CS Pro. And you will also study what we call Advanced Excel. So, you guys, uh, I'm telling you, ukimaliza zako chua, we umemaliza chuo mwaka watatu, mwaka wane. Just go out there. If you have some money, go and have a certificate for two or three of these courses that I have mentioned. Uh, if you are the person from IS, you are the person from uh, computer science, you are a person from computer security, you find yourself a professional course from what I have uh, explained to you there. A uh, Certify yourself and that will help you to be known internationally and that will be a ticket for you to get a lot of deals because you are certified. It means you are a professional. Wewe unaitwa mtaalam and you are known uh, worldwide. So uh, please stay there. This is Elimika Mtandaoni. Channel yako bora kabisa inakuletea elimu kuhusu mambo mbalimbali and in fact uh, it is here to change uh, your life thank you very much please subscribe in the button below there and uh, share with others tell others to subscribe and to like comment and share asante